Securities. Mark, you like tech stocks. Tech stocks did not do well this week. They have not done well basically since last fall. Why is now the time to get in? Well, I, I don't know if now is the right time. I think over time it, we've been proven that being a bull on tech with the right companies has proven out. There are periods, obviously, that have been very tough on tech. We're going through one right now. But I think as that continues to overtake the economy, you're going to have to find entry points for some of the great companies. We mentioned some of the top of the hour. You look at Apple, down 30 percent, Microsoft. There's nobody uns that's left unscathed. But if you have an opportunity to buy companies that are going to be durable through this market, you're going to want to pay attention down 30 percent. And that's where we're paying attention here at JMP. And everything's for sale right now. The only thing that's not in a bear market is assets under management that is being waiting to be deployed. And nobody's going to hit the first uh, at the bottom, I think. We're waiting for that uh, window for people to put more money to work. It has not happened yet, and I'm waiting for that. But I think if you have a chance at 30 percent off to buy the best companies in the world, you probably want to start doing that. But I'm sure it's been a painful year for you because you, you've liked these companies as long as I can remember. I, correct. And I was here on your show in 2020 when nobody wanted to buy them in March of 2020. And I said, you know, this is going to overtake parts of our economy. And nobody wanted to pay attention then either. And so you look at some of those two-year charts, people are doing just fine. You look at anything for a year or less, you're not doing fine. And so fortunately, uh, like a lot of your investors, you have to take a longer-term perspective. And it's very hard to call tops and bottoms. But I think over time, you're going to want to be in these stocks. So you're right. It's been very painful in 2022. It's been painful for late 2021. But if you take that longer term perspective over the course of my uh, career and certainly the last few years, you've done really, really well. Remember, Tesla bottomed out at $35 a share three years ago. $35 a share. Now, it's down 50 percent off its all-time high, and we're going to all talk about that four or 500 points. But it was $35 a share three years ago. We're, nobody's talking about that right now. Maybe it'll go back a lot lower. But over time, no, everyone's talking about how it still might be too expensive for this market, even though it's, it is it is correct. A big loser today. Uh, Keith, I just want to bring you in here. Is, is Mark right to buy tech? Some of these bigger tech companies that drive the economy like an Apple or an Alphabet 30 percent off their highs. Yeah, well, first, Sarah, great to be with you, even though it's another brutal week, as you mentioned. You know, our point of view is we're actually underweight tech. We've been underweight several months. I don't disagree about the longer term outlook for tech is positive. But as we kind of zoom out a little bit, I mean, a lot of these names have really outperformed the market by a huge margin over the last five and 10 years. And I think tech's got a problem as far as positioning. You know, remember coming into the year, the top four or five stocks accounted for over 20 percent of the uh, of the market. So I think that's part of the issue is heavily owned and it's still somewhat heavily owned. And we're not trying to call it tops or bottoms either. But I will say, you know, today you made a 52 week low in tech and the relative price to the market is also near a 52 week low. We'd rather see some stabilization in that before getting more aggressive. And the, other, the last point is the earning trends relative to the market. The reason why you buy tech, the earning trends are moving sideways. So we'd rather be in places like energy where the earning trends are moving higher, where it's still relatively cheap material materials, healthcare, some of the areas that are still working as opposed to trying to find something to pick a bottom in tech.